Hi, it's Alison Rees, a speech and language therapist at Oakfield and Dragonflies, and I'd like to talk about the Picture Exchange Communication System, otherwise known as PECS. And this is video one, it's just an introduction to PECS, so I can share a little bit more about what PECS is, who is it for, why use PECS, and how, do, how to get started with PECS. So essentially, PEX is a visual communication system. It uses picture cards, which are given to the communication partner, usually an adult, in order to express a desire or communicate for other functions. There are six phases of PEX, building up from exchanging a single picture to making choices to building sentences. And it moves on from making requests using I want, to making comments such as I hear, I see, or I feel. It's important to state that PEX refers only to the picture exchange communication system. It doesn't refer to use of visuals such as timetable symbols or schedules, which tend to be used by adults to show children what's happening in their routine, to prepare them for any changes and to help reduce anxiety. Also, the pictures are not called PECs themselves. PECs is the system of communication. So who is PECs for? Well, it's for anyone who has difficulties communicating, um, particularly people who have difficulties communicating using spoken language. It's particularly good for children with autism who find initiating communication difficult um, and can find it difficult to understand the power and the purpose of communication. It can also be used for children who have language difficulties or language delay. For example, children who have difficulties combining words into sentences and short phrases. And it can be also used for children who have unclear speech, speech sound difficulties. So why use PECS? Well, it provides a system of communication for those who find communication difficult. It teaches children how to initiate communication and it teaches different functions of communication, not just requesting. It provides clear language models as the adults model back the language and it can support the development of spoken language. And ultimately, it helps reduce frustration. So how do we get started with PECS? Initially, make a list of the things that your child finds highly motivating. They can be favourite toys, favourite foods, favourite actions and activities such as tickles and jumping. It's useful to have a laminator and Velcro. First of all, we need to prepare some symbols or some photos. Therefore, take photos or use ClipArt or Google to find pictures of the child's favourite motivators and print and laminate them. Photo size of about two inches is quite a good size to start with and always try to have the written word visible on the pictures too. Build up the number of pictures in the child's vocabulary and, and um, save them or store them in a ring binder with Velcro strips or on some laminated A4 boards with Velcro strips. To get started, we also need to think about setting up an environment to encourage communication, therefore reducing the number of items and favourite things that are easily accessible. Put things in see-through containers, for example on a shelf, or containers that are hard to open to encourage the child to communicate for them. Keep a few items in a special box, therefore keeping them out of reach, and they, uh, which will retain their appeal to the child and keep them exciting and use the box every now and again. Try not to anticipate your child's needs so often as allow more pauses and allow more time to communicate or to attempt to communicate. And have a think about the times of day and opportunities across the day to practice communication and practice picture exchanges. We will talk about introducing pets at phase one in the next video. Please take note when introducing PECS for the first time, you do need two adults to support your child. That's a brief introduction. Please have a look at phase one video to find out more. Thanks.